Hey guys, it's good to talk to you again. Um, today's lesson is going to be a little bit different. Instead of um, you guys seeing my hands right from above uh, drawing something today, today you guys are going to do a couple of how to draw videos from some other art teachers. And we're going to do more Pete the Cat. There's going to be more Pete the Cat stories you guys are going to listen to today. And then you're going to practice drawing Pete the Cat a couple more times. Um, so what you need today is a piece of paper. So I have my sketchbook here today. And I drew a line down the middle of my sketchbook. And then I did a number one over here and a number two over here. It looks backwards for you guys because it's in a camera. Um, <clears throat> but that was just to keep track of like video one is here, video two is here. Um, so that's what you're going to do. You're going to watch the two videos and you're going to follow along and draw Pete the Cat over here. Then you're going to turn on the next video and you're going to follow along and draw Pete the Cat over here. Feel free to add color if you have color at home. If you don't, don't worry about it. Don't let that stop you from doing the project. Um, you can do this project with any sort of drawing material, any sort of paper. You don't even have to have paper. You could do it with sidewalk chalk out on the front step, right? Um, you could do it in the sand with a stick. You can do it with markers, pencils, crayons, pens, whatever you have at home um, to draw with or draw on. Go ahead. Cardboard boxes work great. I love to draw and paint on cardboard boxes. Um, so whatever you have, it doesn't have to be fancy, okay? Please, please, please do these projects with me, okay? Make it work. Find what you have um, and then follow along. The whole goal today is to see how the more that we practice, the better we get. Um, I had a lot of students last week say, Mrs. Bergman, ugh, you make this look so easy. And um, it's, it's not easy, right? It takes practice. When I teach these lessons, the weekend before I teach them, I take all my supplies home and I practice over the weekend. And I practice and practice and practice so that on Monday morning when I teach my first class, I'm ready and I feel confident um, to show you guys what to do. And then I teach first and second grade all week. I teach um, usually about four or five first grade classes, four or five second grade classes. So that's about 10 times that I'm teaching that project. Plus I'm teaching it to you guys at home. So I teach this every week like 11 times. So that's why it's easier for me, right? Because I've practiced a lot. I've drawn Pete the Cat a lot now, right? Um, and it's still not perfect. Okay, I still look at my drawings and go, hmm, his one eye is a little bit bigger than his other one, and oh, that ear is not really that pointy, or I made his eyes in the wrong spot this time, or I don't really like how those whiskers turned out, right? I'm still learning. I'm still practicing. Um, and that's what today is about. Today is about practicing, and I hope that when you're done today, you'll look at one, and you'll look at two, and you'll see that, hey, two is a kind of an improvement from one, right? I kind of felt like I knew what I was doing um, over here after I'd practiced already once. And we drew these last week. Um, so some of it is going to be a review when they talk about, you know, the rainbow lines for the eyes and the little Dorito nose. They don't call it Dorito nose in the video. That's just me, Mrs. Bergman. Um, but some of that stuff is going to be familiar because you drew it last week. And so each time that you draw Pete the Cat, I hope that you feel like you are getting better and better. Because like everything... Um, to get better, it just takes practice. I don't expect you to be perfect your first time trying. Um, I'm definitely not perfect the first time I try drawing something new. So um, I hope you guys really enjoy learning how to um, practice and learning how that repetition, doing it over and over again, just makes us better and better at drawing. Um, Okay, so have fun. Don't forget to take pictures and show me what you create. Some of you guys, I was reading the comments and you were saying it was you weren't able to figure out how to attach um, a picture below on the Maven card and that's okay. Um, just take a picture on your iPad. Um, there's a camera on your iPad. You can take a picture. Um, take a picture with a phone if you have a phone at home. Um, or even just a regular digital camera and then email it to me. You can just send it in an email. There's a little um, 
icon when you're emailing that looks like a paper clip and you click that and then attach the photo and then um then you just email it to me so if you can't figure out how to attach pictures on the maven cards don't worry about it that's okay um email emailing works just fine i get those too um so i think that was the only concerns that people were having is like supplies right and then figuring out how on earth to email these to me and if you're having trouble um, please let me know. I will walk you through it. I can talk you through it. Um, your classroom teacher might be able to help you too if um, that's something that you have to do for me and for them. Um, so please, please, please don't let anything stop you from doing these art projects. They're so, so good for you guys to still be creative and exploring and practicing your drawing skills. All this stuff is so, so, so important as you guys are growing and getting bigger and learning new things. Learning new things in art is really important too. Um, so, okay, I think that's all. This video is getting kind of long. Sorry about that. It was supposed to be a short one. Um, I can't wait to see you guys as Pete the Cats, and I hope that you have found some Pete the Cat stories that are your favorites. We've been reading a lot of them at school. We read Pete the Cat and his white shoes. We read Pete the Cat goes the school one, school shoes. Yeah. Um, we read the one with the missing cupcake. Um, that one's a really good one. We read a new one today about a pizza party, Pete the Cat's pizza party, which is really fun. Um, there's, there's just so many, there's tons. Um, there's one with a robot. There's one where it goes to outer space. So, um, go to your library or search YouTube. They're all on there or maybe buy a couple on Amazon. I don't know. Put it on your Christmas list. Uh, read these Pete the Cat books. Let me know which Pete the Cat stories are your favorites. Um, I can't wait to hear and I can't wait to see you guys again soon.